What's going on everybody? Kinefs coming at you with a, another Pokemon Masters discussion video. If you guys enjoy this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to share your support. Now, this time we're gonna be looking at Ingo and Excadrill. Um They're another unit that we should be getting uh this month uh based off of the data mine. And um we finally have another ground type uh unit that has access to sandstorm, except it's a limited unit. Now, I was initially extremely excited to see uh, Ingo and Emmett added to the game. Um, and then I saw that they were Pokefair units. Um, now, obviously, um, that means they're going to be uh, semi-limited. I say semi-limited because uh, you'll only be able to pull for them when, you know, their Pokefair is active. And the real issue with that is... The this is a ground type unit. This is a sand unit. Like we've had Acerola and 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 Egg Kabutops for the short as our sandstorm setters, and now we get another one, and it's just limited. <laughs> so real quick, let's look at the the passives. Passive one: Sandy Pep Rally Nine uh, raises the speed of all its sync pairs by one stat when the user uses a move during a sandstorm. That's actually really really fat, <laughs> right? So like use a move during sandstorm. Entire team is plus one speed. <laughs> That's fat. Um, Ferocious Attrition 2. Raises the attack and special attack of all its sync pairs by two stat ranks the first time a status move is used by <laughs> there's a Pokemon uh, is successful in each battle. Again, fat. Huge. Like, come out, you come out, use a status move, instant plus two. <laughs> instant plus two special attack and attack. Huge. Uh, passive 3. Protects the user from damage from a sandstorm. The user's defense and spadef are also increased by 30% during a sandstorm. Like, dog. Like, these pass- like, this Pokemon is insane. For a sandstorm. And then, you find out that it's a Pokefair unit, and then you're like, oh, well. That is really, really unfortunate. I don't know how popular Ingo and Emmett are. Um, like, within, like, like maybe they're really popular um in japan but over here in at least well you know what, what i've what i've noticed from like pokemon fans i don't really notice people that uh that like them even even my uh my buddy uh kainim who was a big fan of uh of gen 5 well, you know she does like nuzlocke comics and stuff uh she was like yeah i'm pretty indifferent towards those two I was like i don't know why those are those guys are limited um obviously it's you know because Adina's a business, and they know that we're lacking in ground types. So they're like, well, this will be a good way for us to make money. Looking at the stats, a uh, huge chunk of HP, um, decent speed, uh, exactly what it is in the game. Uh, okay attack, like Exodrill has a fat attack stat in the game, um, a decent speed stat. Um, but I, it makes up for, like, well, it's a support pair, so it's not supposed to be offensive. Um, they get more special attack because it's only offensive move is actually mud slap, but but it has very very nice passives and that's so disheartening because it's it's our first ground type support pair and it, it like it's just it's locked behind being a limited unit. Now here we have mud slap. Um, we know what it does by now. Lowers the target's accuracy by one stat rank. Um, Gillis and Clement have this. It's a one gate spammable move, so that's already good on a support pair. Potion. Um, restores an allies uh HP by approximately 40% of the maximum HP. Again, very, very good in Masters. Uh Sandstorm. Obviously, what Sandstorm does. Um activate Sandstorm for the entire field. Get two uses of this. And we have all aboard. Raises the attack of all sync pairs by one stat rank, raises the crit rate of all stat <laughs> sync pairs by two stat ranks, and applies free move next effect to all allied sync pairs like this would have been so like this like all the stuff they're just slapping onto this they're like hey we know you guys want sandstorm units so here's a really good one but it's limited and like that's the biggest drawback i think with with this unit like the fact that it's a pokey fair unit right and that's just so unfortunate because it'll combo really well with um cynthia garchomp um uh, Olivia and Lycanroc, who are getting EXs this month. Um, there's another one. There's, there's one more that's not tip my tongue. Uh, Rahan and Duraludon. 
Uh, there's probably a few more that like I can't think of right now, but those are like the three that like just like stuck out to me immediately. I was like, wow, Sandstorm is gonna be finally amazing in Masters, and then it's like, oh, limited sync pair. Like, don't get me wrong, this sync pair is very, very good, but I don't like the fact that it's limited, and I cannot stress that enough. Uh, it's sync move, it's just it's just regular 250 power, uh, physical. Um, you know, it's it goes up to 300 max because it's a uh, it is a support. Now let's take a look at the sync grid. Now over here at the um, at the sync uh, grid, we actually have some we have some pretty nice tiles. Um, so over here, potion master healer, potion MP refresh, uh, guarded entry one uh, raises uses defense and to death by one rank when it enters a battle. Be nice. Uh, quit cure uh, removes confused flinching or trap condition first time the you know, each battle. And the potion master healer one. Um, over here we have Sandstorm MP Refresh, but it's locked behind 3 out of 5, I believe. Yeah, that's locked behind 3 out of 5, unfortunately. Um, we have Pocket Sand 4, has a 50% chance of lowering the target's accuracy by one stat rank when a move used against it successful during a Sandstorm. Uh, so, first of all, it's hilarious to me that they call this Pocket Sand. <laughs> like, <laughs> of all the things they could have called it, Pocket Sand. I need to actually name Pocket Sand now. For free for alls. Um, but yeah, so there's additional chance to lower its accuracy uh during a um during a sandstorm. Um soothing sand one, so we're sort of HP during sandstorm. Uh gritty guardian one has a 20% chance to raising the user's defense and spit up by one rank when the Pokemon uses a move during a sandstorm, adds to its bulk. I've got a refresh for all aboard. Oh, I did also I didn't mention all aboard just um Wait, where is it? All aboard just like this Pokemon just inherently maxes out your crit rate because you get like you two use the two uses of all aboard you get you get two crit rate and then you get free move next to the entire party like what <laughs> come on now uh endurance uh if you enter about full hp um then you have a chance of enduring a hit that would um that would oko you unless it's a sync move um adrenaline one reduces sync countdown by one the first time sync was used in battle uh, sync here removes all conditions from the user after you take a sync move, which isn't bad because um, assuming you EX this, you're going to want to sync with it, um, you know, once. Uh, so you get the, the, the double sync buff. Um, let's let move gauge refresh three. Uh, I mean, uh, that's okay. Uh, I mean, like, I wouldn't mind having it, I suppose. Um, it's already it's already a one gauge spendable move. Uh, if you could get it, like, if you get it back, like, that's that's just a free move each turn. Uh, fail forward one charges the user's uh, move gauge by one when a move uh, when an opponent's attack targeting the user misses. Uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, it's again it's RNG it's heavily RNG based because when I seem to raise my evasiveness or lower the opponent's accuracy, it never seems to work. But if you do get it to work, like you know, pretty nice. Uh, did I look at this? Oh, yeah, it's potion MP refresh. Uh, and up here we have Mudslap Ripple Effect two. Um, when a move used by the user's Pokemon lowers an opponent's stat, has a 30% chance of lowering the same stat for all opposing sync pairs. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, so like, it'll just be an AoE, but like 30% of the time. And we have some accuracy nodes up here for, for Mudslap. Oh, well, we have one. Yeah, we have one accuracy node for Mudslap. So, all in all, I think this is a fantastic sync pair. It just really gets dragged down heavily at least in my eyes because it is a limited time sync pair um other than that like i the, the sync pair is phenomenal i think um it's huge as a sand setter uh it's 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 a it's a huge step forward for sand teams if you opt to go for it now like i said it is limited so you'd have to pull during a poke fair for it and then if you have this like if you have cynthia and then you don't have this looking slow like it was already looking slow because ace roll it was either ace roller or ace roll and palisand or egg kabutops so uh, unfortunate this this is a limited time sync pair uh, i'll probably go into more into that in a different video because i don't want to like ramble on too much here but uh let me know your thoughts down below uh what do you think of ingo and exit drill and um I guess we'll be pulling for it again this is something i don't think i'll be able to because my gems are so low uh from trying to get groudon and kyogre because i still have not gotten groudon but 
Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.